time starts to dissolve away. And you sit here as the Master in your own life, just observing, not trying to change any of the aspects you sit here. That suddenly puts them as the Master, sitting on their park bench in their lifetime in that story. Suddenly it's not just you alone sitting on your park bench as the Master, but suddenly every past and every future lifetime becomes the Master also. Then everything changes. Every lifetime realizes the Master from this lifetime. It's conveyed out. It's radiated out to every lifetime. And those lifetimes that are stuck in their patterns, that are stuck in their time, suddenly start transforming. So let's do that right now. Sit on our park bench. Here in this beautiful holiday season at the Crimson Circle Connection Center, let's take a deep breath and let yourself be the master now. Sitting on your park bench on a glorious day. And yes, some of those aspects are going to come around. They come around when you're kind of quiet like this, whether it's a dark aspect or a light. They come around, and as the Master, you just observe them. You're just aware. You don't try to counsel or heal them. They're in their stories. They're doing their things. And some of them are going to scream at you. Some of them are going to try to suck up to you. Some of them are going to be very timid about being in your presence. Others are going to want to sit in that seat next to you for hours, not nay, for days at a time. Some will come asking for the answers. What's the answer, Master? Some are going to want a magic elixir, something to transform them into a superhuman being with all the answers and all the power. That's when you just sit on that park bench. I am that I am. It's actually allowing all those aspects, all those past and future selves. You don't have to fight with them. You don't have to try to heal them. You realize, ah, these are just parts of my story. These are just parts of me. But I am, and I am. There's no need to try to change them or fix them, much less fixing yourself. No need at all. You're the master on the park bench. You might have an aspect that comes along and starts talking about goals and planning. Another aspect that comes along and sits on the park bench that talks to you about its spiritual search. Another aspect that comes along and it's not like a ghosty aspect. It keeps replaying stories of being a victim, of being tormented physically, mentally. You don't try to change it at all. It's where you take a deep breath and you realize that you're the master. You are the I am. All of these are just stories in a book. A myriad of stories. 
you don't have to change them. Actually, the truth is, every one of those stories, every one of those stuck, wounded, or even happy, carefree stories, they're going to change themselves. They're going to rewrite their story. They were just waiting for the Master to come along, the Master who was so covered up, who was so lost in the noise. They were just waiting for that Master to sit upon the park bench. And now you're here. Don't let all those voices fool you. Don't let those voices tell you that you still have a ways to go. Those are just aspects. You're the master on the park bench. You're just observing all of these stories floating in and out. They just were waiting for the Master. And as I like to say, when the Master appears, the stories start changing. When the Master appears, finally, all the stories realize that they can change into whatever they want. So let's just sit here. Let's just sit here for a moment. I want you to feel what it's like to be the Master. And yes, you may hear voices. The voices may be covering up the knowingness, the mastery. You may feel this aspect of doubt even come around. Try to sit on the park bench. You might feel dark come around. That's okay. Just sit here on the park bench as the master. I'm sorry that it's been so difficult at times, such a struggle. I'm sorry that you've had to endure some of the deep, deep challenges that comes, I guess, with the territory of coming into embodied enlightenment, comes with being amongst the first, being pioneers. I know it's been difficult at times. I see who you truly are, even when you don't see it in yourselves. I see the Master that's already sitting in there, even though you think you're trying to get to be a Master. I see how brutally hard the stories are at times, brutally hard. But I also see how no story is ever locked in itself. I see how you are setting all those stories free, all those difficulties and challenges. I see how you are allowing. Let's take a deep breath together here on the park bench. The Master. Just enjoying life, the Master, even allowing the aspects from the past and the future to come by. Let's take a good deep breath together. 